I'm Jason Las Vegas. These are my 2021 NFL Week 8 picks. Okay, so it is currently 9.43 a.m. here in Las Vegas, Monday, October 25th, 2021. We still have the Monday night games for NFL Week 7, but the schedule has been released for NFL Week 8, so we're going to make our NFL Week 8 picks. I'm going to stay away from the Saints and the Seahawks tonight, and I'm going to stay away from the first game of the NFL Week 8 Packers versus Cardinals. I'm just going to stay home and watch that game as a fan. It's going to be a really good game. I don't really have a bet between these two teams. First game I'm going to bet on is the Bills. I'm going to take the Bills. I want to take them against the spread, but it's a division game. They did beat Miami 35 nothing in week two, but that was without Tua. So for this specific parlay, I'm just going to take the Bills on a money line. On a money line. I have to take Atlanta Falcons minus three versus the Carolina Panthers. The Carolina Panthers are terrible. They benched Donald in their last game versus the Giants. They're on the road again. Atlanta Falcons have a really, really good offense at home. I think they should be able to cover three points versus this terrible, terrible Panthers team. I'm going to stay away from the Eagles and Lions. Neither team has any reason to win this game. So just going to stay away from those two terrible teams. I wanted to take the um, the Rams minus 14 and a half. Um, they barely covered versus, they didn't cover versus the, the Lions. That was a real personal game. 14 and a half is a little bit too much. Maybe if it was 13 and a half, I would have taken it. I'm just going to take the Rams on a money line. Just going to take the Rams on a money line for this parlay. Next game, I have to take the Bengals minus nine and a half. The Jets are terrible. Uh, I believe, did they bench Wilson in their I think they benched Wilson in their game also. The starting quarterback, Zach Wilson, was benched in his game last week. Well, yesterday versus the Patriots. Uh, the Bengals are coming off of a really big win on versus the Ravens. I think they have enough firepower, and I don't think this Jets offense has enough offensive ability to cover nine and a half. That's a good number for me because uh, if there's a if it's a ten point game, we could win. I could see them winning by ten. So I'll take I'll take the Bengals by nine and a half. That seems. Pretty good. This one is kind of tricky, but I'm going to... I have to take the Steelers plus three. This, I have to take the Steelers plus three. The Browns, I believe, will be going with Case Keenum. I still don't believe Hunt or Chubb will be playing as for one of their running backs. Um... I think Landry and Odell Beckham will probably be able to go in this game. But three and a half is a good amount for me to take the Steelers. I think they can win this game outright. They are coming off of a bye week. They are better than the Browns. They are better than this team with Case Keenum. If it was Mayfield and Hunt and Chubb was in the game, I would be looking at the Browns. But they all, I believe, will still be out for this game. So I'm going to take three and a half points for the Steelers coming off of a bye week. I'm going to actually stay away from the Patriots and the Chargers. Last year, the Patriots beat the Chargers like 45 nothing. Um, I'm a little worried about uh, the Chargers' offense. They did not look good versus the Ravens. Herbert, he was, he was a rookie last year, so Belichick does well versus rookies. This is his second season. He has a lot more time. But I still think the Patriots are kind of a tricky team. I don't trust them on the road. I don't trust them on the road. Um, for this specific parlay, I'm going to stay away from I'm leaning towards the Chargers. I really feel like the Chargers should win this game. I don't want to get biased because the Patriots scored 54 points on the Jets. Right? Like, that's they're not the Chargers. But for this specific parlay, I will most likely just stay away from the Patriots and the Chargers and just watch that game as a fan. I'm going to stay away from the... Washington football team and the Broncos. The Broncos have lost like four games in a row. They have so many injuries. 
I really feel like I should take the Washington football team, but I don't trust them at all. I, I just don't trust them. Next game, I'm going to have to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on a money line versus the Saints. I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on a money line versus the Saints as the Saints play tonight. And I don't want to give up um, five and a half or five points to the Saints. They are the kind of team that would end up beating the Bucs. So for this game, I'm going to take the Bucs on a money line. This is kind of a revenge game for them. They lost to the Saints twice last season, beat them in the playoffs. Was that the Saints or was that the Cow- Was it the Packers? I think it, I think it was it was the Saints they lost last year because the Saints beat them pretty badly. Then they ended up beating the Saints. So for this, it's kind of a revenge game. Um, I I don't mind the spread in this game. It's just the Bucks still have a lot of injuries, right? Um, I don't know if Gronk is going to be back for that game. I don't know if Antonio Brown is playing. So for this specific parlay, I'm going to take the the Bucks on a money line. I kind of have. I really like the Cowboys minus one and a half. It's just it's still Monday and we haven't had practice this week, so I don't really know the news on Dak Prescott. The number did start at plus two for the Cowboys, so obviously with that, it seems like I mean. It, it started at minus two for the Cowboys. Now it's down to minus one. I'm a little worried about the Dak, Dak Prescott news. I know he has a strained calf. He was walking in a boot after his last game. That was like 10 days ago. So I'm a little worried that Dak Prescott may be a little hobbled in this game. So for this game, I'm just going to be a spectator. It's going to be a really good Sunday night game. The Vikings are a really good team, right? Cook, um... So I don't, I, I don't, I, for this specific parlay, I'm just going to stay away from it. I'll wait later in the week to see what's the Dak Prescott news. If Dak Prescott is 100%, I would, I'd really like the Cowboys minus one and a half. Next game, I'm going to take the Chiefs on a money line. Obviously, for obvious reason, if anyone has bet on the Chiefs in the last two, three seasons, you know you almost never take the Chiefs against the spread. They're coming off a pretty bad loss. And the Jets, I mean, the Giants coming off a nice little victory versus the Carolina Panthers. But I think the Chiefs obviously have enough weapons to beat the Giants at home. I'm not going to give up 10 points. I'm just not for the Chiefs. So I'm going to take the Chiefs on this specific parlay against. I'm going to take them on a money line. So we have a 17 parlay. This NFL Week 8 we actually have a UFC event this weekend also. This UFC event is UFC 267. Big UFC fan. I'm going to bet a few bets here. I'm going to have to take the champion. I think this is an end still situation for Jan Polish Power Blockowitz. I'm going to take him versus Glover Teixeira. I'm going to stay away from uh, Pieter Jan versus Corey Sanhagen. Corey Sanhagen just had a five-round fight versus TJ Dillashaw like almost two months ago, but he's really tricky. You know, he's the type of guy that could finish his fight in like the first round. I like Jan. I think I will be betting on Jan later on, but for this specific parlay, I'm going to keep Jan out of this one. Next bet, I have to take Islam Makachev versus Dan Hooker. Dan Hooker just fought a few weeks ago. I'm a little worried about that, but Islam Makachev is—he's the—he's that guy. This is a good spot for him. He should win this fight. This is kind of a main event fight for him, in, in many ways. Dan Hooker is his biggest opponent. Dan Hooker has a really big uh, fan base. So Islam Makachev, if, if he's really top ten, top five, he has to win this fight. Next fight, I'm gonna take. I have to take Kazmat Chimaev. Chimaev, I think. The Wolf. He hasn't fought since last year. He did have a problem with uh, COVID, and that was almost like almost a year ago. He was scheduled to fight Leon Edwards last December, and he has not fought since then. I feel like if he's back now, he's probably be 100%. I'm riding the Wolf train. I believe in the kid. So I'm going to have to put him, Kazmat Chimaev, on this parlay. And the last fight I'm going to take... Ankalaev, 
He's a really, really up and good, up and coming light heavyweight contender. It's a good fight for him to be on a card, same card as the he- light heavyweight um, championship fight, Jan Bakovic versus Glover Teixeira. I think Ankalaev is underrated. He should stamp his um, status with a win over Ozdemir as a top five contender. So I'm going to take Ankalaev in this parlay for UFC 260. Seven. That's two. That's five MMA bets for UFC two sixty seven. So we have eleven team parlay. We're taking the Bills on a money line. The Atlanta Falcons minus three against the spread. We're taking the Rams on a money line. We're taking we're taking the Bengals minus nine and a half. I guess the line, it says something about the Steelers' line has changed. Hold on, let me see what's going on here. This is live betting, y'all. Let's go back. What is going on here? The line has changed for the Steelers. Let me see what happened with the Steelers. No, the line is three and a half. What are you talking about? Why are you bothering me for? Anyway. We're taking the Bucks on a money line. We're taking the Chiefs on a money line. We're taking Jan Blakowicz for the light heavyweight champion and still situation. We're taking Islam Makachev. We're taking Kazmav Chemayev. And we're taking Ankalaev. And we're taking the Steelers plus three and a half. For this 11 team parlay, we're going to risk. We're going to risk $3.57 to win $124.66. That's it. That's all I got. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my 2021 NFL Week 8 picks. We have the Bills on the money line versus the Miami Dolphins, we're taking Atlanta Falcons against the spread, minus three, versus the Carolina Falcons, uh, Carolina Panthers. We're taking the Los Angeles Rams on a money line versus the Houston Texans. We're taking the Cincinnati Bengals minus against the spread, minus nine and a half versus the New York Jets. We're taking the Bucks on a money line versus the New Orleans Saints. We're taking... The Kansas City Chiefs on a money line versus the New York versus the New York Giants. We're taking Jan Blakowicz versus Glover Teixeira. We're taking Islam Makachev. We're taking Kazmir Chemayev. We're taking Ankalaev. And we're taking the Pittsburgh Steelers plus three and a half against the spread versus the Cleveland Browns. Will I go 11 and 0 or will I go 0 and 11? What are your NFL week 8 picks? Who's your favorites? Who's your favorite favorites? Who's your pick of the week? Who's your lock of the week? Who's your home team of the week? Who's your road team of the week? Who's your underdog slash upset of the week? And what's your game of the week? For this NFL week eight, I would say, obviously, I didn't bet on it, but the Packers versus the Cardinals is going to be highly anticipated. The winner of that game is going to basically lay claim to being the number one team in the NFC. Um, I'm also, obviously, we want to see what happens with the Bucks versus the Saints. I don't think this is a walkover game for the Bucks. The Saints are tricky, but the Bucks should win that game. And then also, we're going to have a good weekend watching the UFC uh, 267. Let me know if there's any fights you're going to be watching for UFC 267 or if you have any picks for UFC 267. This is one of the best pay-per-views of the year for the UFC. So I'm excited to bet on it. I like some of the favorites on that card. I'm Jason Las Vegas. 
These are my 2021 NFL Week 8 picks. 11-team parlay. Eleven team parlay with risking three dollars and fifty seven cents to win one hundred twenty four dollars and sixty six cents.